gastroschisis is a congenital abnormality where a hole in the abdominal wall causes intestines and sometimes other organs to protrude outside the abdominal cavity and into the amniotic fluid. Exposure to the amniotic fluid irritates the intestine, which can lead to bowel inflammation and damage. The cause of gastroschisis is unknown, and genetics is not a determining factor in the condition. Gastroschisis can be categorized into two types, uncomplicated and complicated. Both have different outcomes and expectations. About 85% of cases are uncomplicated and 15% are complicated. In addition to having a hole in the abdominal wall, babies with complicated gastroschisis can have intestinal atresia, or a blockage of the intestine. Babies with gastroschisis can be delivered vaginally and don't need a C-section unless there are maternal indications. After delivery, the bowel is placed in a large plastic bag called a silo. The silo has an elastic ring that is secured underneath the abdominal wall to prevent it from popping off. Over the next several days, pressure is applied to the silo, squeezing the intestinal contents into the abdominal cavity. Once everything is inside, the silo is removed and the abdominal wall is closed with sutures in the operating room or a pressure dressing is applied, allowing the skin and muscle to close over the next several weeks. After the closure, we assess these babies daily to determine when it is appropriate to start feeding them. Because your baby's intestine has been exposed to amniotic fluid for so long, initially their intestine does not function properly. It takes time for the intestine to learn how to move food through the gut oftentimes needing several weeks before tolerating full feeds. If your baby has a complicated gastroschisis, then full feeds may not be possible even after multiple attempts. If this is the case, radiographs with contrast in the intestine are obtained to see how the intestine is functioning and if there is any sign of atresia or blockage. If there is an atresia of the intestine, Another operation may be needed, which usually occurs four to six weeks after birth, to reconnect the bowel. During this entire process, your baby receives IV nutrition while working on oral feeds. The average hospital length of stay varies between one to two months. At Children's Hospital Colorado, we are experts in the management of gastroschisis, and we see a large number through our fetal care center annually. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at the number below.